Welcome to Pain in the Mic. I'm your host, Mike. Today I got something special for us today. We're gonna do some mountain painting. And as always, it looked absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and do something beautiful. Uh, let me go ahead and explain what we got for colors. It's gonna be very limited. Uh, just the four colors that you see. It's gonna be white, uh, phthalo blue, a lizard and chrism, and some sap green. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and make something wonderful. I went ahead and um, already got the liquid medium on here. This is an 18 by 24 pre-stretched canvas, double primed. It's ready to rock and roll. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to use these three colors here and we'll make a nice charcoal. So we're going to make a brown first. Sap green and the uh, lizard and chrism equal portions. And we'll go ahead and mix this up and make a, make a nice brown. And you want to really mix this up good, okay? And just keep keep rocking it. I hope you're doing wonderful at home. Today I feel like we're gonna do kind of a nice cold, mountainy, snowy type scene. Alright, so here we go. We got a nice brown. Now we're gonna add all this blue to it. Okay. And mix it up really, really good, really good. And hopefully I got a big enough pile for today. All right, so we're gonna do basically a two-tone painting the entire time. I'm gonna use these two colors. And I just wanna make sure this is nice, thoroughly mixed. And let me wipe off this knife here. And go ahead and grab the two inch. And just go ahead and load yourself up. Okay, just tap it in there. And go ahead and work this corner here. And it's nice, nice dark color. It's like a charcoal, kind of blue, a little bit purple. And I'm just doing the X's. Keep going all the way down. Oh, maybe it felt good. We'll go ahead and just darken this up a little bit here. There you go. That should be about good. Yeah, basically just cleaning off the brush. Right. Now we go ahead and clean this. Uh, once again, I use that Elmer's paint thinner. Always will remind you every show. Anytime I paint, I always use that odorless paint thinner because we're using the oils. And really, there's really not much else you can do. You can, you can use a paper towel, you can kind of get all the paint off all you want, but if you want a real clean brush, I mean, there's really not much else you can do. If you use turpentine, it will leave too much residue. Um, this is actually pretty, pretty good with uh, holding back on that. All right, with a clean, dry brush, we're going to go ahead and blend from down here all the way up, okay? And it's the same thing, just this nice little axis. This helps us to get out some of the rough scratches that can be in here. Just have a little bit of clouds today. I'm gonna go ahead and 
That's why I have two piles. I just want to keep this pile of white nice and clean. So I'll use this for the sky, okay? And I'm just going to grab a nice little one inch and just load it up. Okay. And you're just going to do like this motion here, okay? Just tight little kind of clockwork circles there, okay? And just keep it moving. And just keep it moving, okay? Maybe just a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, we'll just go right here. Right there. Why not? Why not? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy down. And I'm going to grab my two inch. And once again, remember to keep the top of the clouds along. You just want to blow Nice little tight circles and just blend the bottom of it. And just keep blending it out. And then we'll go ahead and just collect it up a little bit. Okay. Move it around. Get some action. So we got a nice sky going and some just basic little cloud action. We didn't go into major, major detail and it just gives you a lot of action. So if you just keep, when you're putting the sky and just move it around, it gives you a lot of action, okay? All right, go ahead and let's go and grab our, I'm using my big knife, the number 10. Got some paint on the side of my finger here, excuse me. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use this pile here. I just wanna add some white and just lighten this up a little bit here. Just a little bit. There. So it gives you that nice little gray color there, okay? And you're gonna get your nice roll. And we'll see, I might need to add a little bit more dark, actually. Just a little bit more dark. There we go, that should be good. And just come in and Push it in, and you want to scrape off all the excess. So it goes up like so. Two inch, and I'm just gonna slide this out. some white caps on here. I'm gonna grab some a pile here because I don't want to pollute this quite yet. So we'll come over here and do this. And then you grab your roll. I don't know if you can see that. And just come in here. And remember, just touch lightly and slide down. Don't push into it or you won't get the brakes and you want the break in, in, in the paint, see? So just nicely breaks. Nicely breaks, I'm barely touching and just sliding. And that's all you gotta do, okay? Oh, we'll 
secure. Same thing. Come over here. Just like that, you get all that breaking. And that's exactly what you're looking to get, okay? All right, let me clean the knife. Okay, and so with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to grab, pull, just a little bit. Come in here, I'm gonna take some of this right here. I'm gonna take it right here and put it in that same little pile. And just load out a bit. Get a little bit more. Just want it, I don't want it as dark as that, but I want it darker than this, okay? And just a small amount. And we'll come up here and I'll start right here. And just go in the other direction, okay? Up here. Just like that. A little bit darker, just a little bit darker. I'm going to go ahead and just get a little bit more of this. Just clean this up slightly. Just a touch really right over here. Just a touch. Just a touch. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take this and just gonna punch. Try to find a follow the angle of the mountain. Just down here at the bottom, right down here. Just want to miss this out just slightly. And by simply just tapping it, you can do so. Okay. softly just I'm just doing this little motion and just grab it right at the end. Okay. All right, so it gives it a nice little little misty thing. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hand brush. 
and go into some white. And they may need to thin the white down slightly, so we'll see. I'll probably just go ahead and do that with the white medium. Just slightly. Load it up. And I want it to feel like there's a cloud, maybe. We'll have it right here, coming right here. So let's pop in this nice little cloud in here. Okay, a little more, I have to thin this out. It's a little bit thick here. I'm gonna go ahead and put another one a little bit right there. Let's go ahead. Why not, right? Add a little bit more of this white. Why not? It's a pretty cool effect. It goes ahead and puts a cloud around the mountains for you. Yeah, it's a nice little effect. And it kind of pushes the mountain back. Anytime you put something in front of something, it just pushes it more and more back. And that's that's what you're kind of looking for. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and clean this two inch brush. It's a little dirty from all the blending. And then just like we do with the clouds, the same thing. Don't touch the top of these clouds. You want to blend out the bottom, okay? Try to blend out the bottom over the best you can. Okay. Go ahead and just Same thing here, okay? Fluff it up a little bit. Give me your palette knife. Let's go ahead and put one more ridge of mountains in here, okay? So we're gonna use the darker stuff now, okay? Pull this down. Let's go ahead and put another ridge in there. Maybe like something like something like that. There it is. Just a little bit. Yeah, something like that.
Two inch. Come in. back into this white here. Grab myself a nice little pile, go right into here, and go back and re-highlight. Same thing, just touch. And it just puts everything in for you. You just gotta touch lightly, that's really the key here. The main thing you gotta do is just touch, touch lightly, okay? So we need to uh, put in a nice little shadow color, a little bit of that white. A little bit darker. Just a tad, just a tad more. There we go, maybe that should be good. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. Say just a tad darker. There you go, like that. And then just come in and put the shadows in, okay? And then we'll go back and put more highlights on over it. So just get these in now. And as you're doing it, and I'm sorry for the dead air time, I'm just thinking about what I'm doing here. But you can just change everything as you're going. I mean, that's what, I mean, that's what makes mountains really a lot of fun is that you can just have fun with them. You can change the direction, you can do all types of stuff. And grab some more of this white here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you grab a nice pile, right? You can come back and re-highlight, so let me re-highlight real quick. Okay, and I just made a quick little angle there. So watch this, okay? You come in, and you can just build all these different ledges. See what I'm saying? You can have fun with it. Have loads of fun with it. That's what it's all about. Different angles, hit it at different angles. And you'll have all these different looking peaks and stuff. See? Just have fun with it. It takes a little bit. When you can get used to this guy right here, life with this technique, it's just, it's a whole nother ball game. I mean, you can paint the entire painting with just this knife.
everything. You'll use a lot of paint, but you can. And it's just, it's amazing what you can do with the knife. The knife is your best friend. And if you can get used to this guy right here, if you can get used to it, man, you're, you're gonna be off to the races, I'm telling you. Let's just add a little bit, another little peek right there, just, just for the fun of it, okay? Right here, okay? And you come in, and there's your shadow. Same thing, when you come in here, right at the bottom of it. Right at the bottom of it. come back in and just very softly, very softly. Go and try to get rid of those tap marks. different is I put that white cloud in and then there's two different tones and that's what I'm doing it's just basically showing how you can take basically two colors and make all these different tones okay there. so go ahead and grab your fan brush and we're gonna put in some pine trees, okay? And I'm not sure which way we're going, so we'll figure it out, but just load it up, okay? Now let's say start right here, and you're just gonna go down. I'll go to the angle, down, down. Just like this, just like that, okay? And I wanna start here, go this way and as you're doing it just make it a little bit smaller a little bit smaller and just keep working all the way down the paint's gonna run out and that's what I want to happen I want it to get lighter and lighter and lighter okay just like that just like that just like that okay over here very softly very softly I want to put some small ones in go up the mountain there we go. Then you get these different little ranges and I'm just loaded the brush one time okay and just work with it as it runs out it's what you want very very light and very very lightly it just shows a lot of distance the lighter it is and the darker it gets the more distance the more distance okay and that's that's what we're looking for we want that distance okay Let's go touch, no, touch, no. Okay. And you'll get all these different little, little planes. Okay. 
And same thing over here. If I want to want to work it like this. Very soft. Very soft. touch very soft very soft try to go straight up straight up okay, okay. and you got all these different little ranges of, of trees and you really haven't done much, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, except I wanna touch a little bit and go about right there and then lift up, lift up, lift up. Okay? Now I wanna load up and we're gonna make some. It's nice big size ones. Start off right here and then just go down, load yourself up, just come in and touch and just stay in the middle and work your, your arms out, okay? Stay in the middle and just work your arms out. Okay, and now you got one. Let's go ahead and load up again. Put one right here. Okay. Come in and just touch. You can just go right down the middle. Here, I'll show you. You can go right down the middle. Okay, and then you just work your arms out. So you get an arm out here, an arm out there. Okay, you can go like that. You load up. And you just tap your arms out. And that's it. You can just do that. That's a little bit easier for you. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, another little one right here. Maybe a little bit higher. Okay, tap them in. All right, next one. Another one. Grab just a dot, a dot with some paint thinner. It's a little thick over here. And same thing. Same thing. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm just going up and down, up and down. Okay. As I'm going towards here, I'm gonna start lighting it up, lighting it up. Okay. And let's go ahead and put another beast. Let's put another beast right here. This one's nice and pretty tall. All the way down. Load up again. And come in and start tapping. Tap. And as I'm going down, just hitting it a little bit harder. 
load up again. some little extra stuff here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of blend this a little bit. I just want to start from here, from here up. Crunch a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. crunch even over here. Alright. Knock out the bristles or the, the extra little paint and just lift it up. Lift it up slightly, slightly. Alright, there you go. You got a nice little nice little range working right there. Okay. And let's go ahead and, and put in some some nice white. I'm gonna grab my one inch. I'm gonna go into this pile right here. Now I wanna start getting some white in here. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. I'm just going like that. I'm trying to find the groove of the land and just working with that. Okay. Uh, go ahead and load up again. All, right. All I'm doing is just touching and pulling, touching and pulling. Touching and pulling, that's the secret to this, okay? Just load it up. Just touch. Come in here, different little planes, and then pull it. Alright, so it gives it a little, makes it look a little bit deep, I guess you could say. Same thing here. Come in, and then pull it. Alright. Let the dark work with you. you that's your, your shadows are right there. So you just need to work with them, okay? All right, so now you got a nice little plane. This one a little bit more white right here. It's just not showing. A little bit better, okay. Let's go ahead and, and do some more some more pine trees. I'm gonna put a, let's put a nice one right here, okay. Load it up. Yeah, sorry, I'm just thinking where do I want them? How about right there, okay? All you gotta do, just tap and work those arms out. Okay? Let me get And if you find it's not sticking, just add a little bit of the paint thinner, just a drop, okay?
And I'm just working it. That's all I'm doing. I work the middle and then start having some fun. That's it. You can come in and get some extra little arms if you want. Okay. There's a nice tree. Go ahead and put one more right here. Okay. Same thing. Load up. Come in. Just, just touch. Move the arms out. Move the arms out. Move the arms out. Move the arms out. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of that white in there again. Load up the brush. Just gonna come in, start right there. There you go. Let me put this down. Let's go ahead and highlight the trees. So we're gonna go ahead and, let's go ahead and make a, a little bit of the uh, tree trunk color. So we're do that and some of the white. Should be good, nice and marbly. Just come in and you just touch. Maybe a little bit more white so it sticks up a little bit more. Go ahead and grab our fan brush. I'm just going to go ahead and clean this guy so we can highlight. A lot of paint in this. It's going to take just a second here. Take some of this white medium. Come right in here into the white. Okay. And just how we did it, you want to do it the same way. Okay. Try to stay that the light's coming from this angle, so you want to kind of stay on this side, this side of the pine trees. Okay. That's pretty much it. You just come in and just highlight your guys.
here. Let me adjust that a little bit here. again here another whole new plane right there some more of that white trying to make it stick out a little bit better Trying to smooth it out a little bit, not so rough. going to take some of this just to make it a little bit more texture and just because I'll have it pile some up and just come in and I'll just give you some texture makes it look all like kind of icy and snowy I, I usually like to do this right at the end and anytime I do a, uh, a winter painting like this, I'm just coming in. And just put those nice little textures on there. It's really pretty if you, if you look at it. And you can have fun with all these little, there you go. And do the same thing right here. Like the mountain, just like the mountain. Okay, make it just want a little bit more right there. Overwork it. All right, let me go ahead and sign this guy. I think we are done for today. Go ahead and use some of this paint thinner until it's dark. Actually, you know what? I just want to add, just thinking, I'm sorry, I just want to add a little bit more, just a couple of things. I'm just going to go in here, grab some of this dark. Oh, I'm sorry, I just want to get these couple little things here. Couple of little, little scratches, nothing big. Little scratches. All right. Now I feel like I can go 
go ahead and side this now. So let me go ahead and get some of this thinner on here. Oops. And once again, if you're having problems getting your signature, just thin it out with the paint there. Make sure you have enough paint and then thin it out with the painter, uh, with the thinner. And it should, should work just fine, okay? Okay. Let me get this cleaned up, put away. Okay. Well, we did something absolutely gorgeous today. We did it in two different tones. Remember, I took, um, basically, I did two parts brown, or excuse me, three parts brown and one pound, part blue, but we made the brown. So we did equal part sap green and chrism, and then we mixed it with the blue, and we got the nice charcoal color from that. And so we did this entire painting using just the two colors, okay? Um, I think you did an absolute beautiful job. You can see the placement and everything that you did. I, I think you did well. So remember, once again, if Mike can paint, you can too. I want to thank you very much for joining me. If you do like the program and you've made it this far, please subscribe. Until next time, you take care and stay safe.